Hello, it is William calling from Movie Blogs, and on December 29th, Albania gifted us the third song of Eurovision 2022. It is Secret from Miss Ronella Hayati. This song follows the internal selection in Bulgaria of Intelligent Music Project with the song Intention. And ESCZ 2022, the national final in Czech Republic, which was won by We Are Domi and their song Lights Up. Where are you now when I miss you? You're sailing around in my peripheral. Now that we have three, it is time to decide our personal favorites. We are going to hear from eight of our bloggers around the world. They are Luis in Spain, Tom in the United Kingdom, Suzanne in the United States, Diego in France, Jonathan in the UK, Sinan in Germany, Devin in the UK, and me. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's, Let's do this! this. <laughs> Hola, hola, this is Luis from Spain and here I am surrounded by olive trees and with the guest appearance of my dog Gala. Say hi! She doesn't want to. But this is my top three of Eurovision 2022 so far. We have three songs and this is how I rank them. Uh, my number three so far is Bulgaria. Um, that's Intention from Intelligent Music Project. Um, and so the thing is, I don't think this is a bad song by any means, but the problem is it's I feel like it's a bit basic and at some point it's just like I haven't had the, the need to listen to the song again ever since the day it was released, which is not a really good sign actually. But as I'm telling you, I don't think this is bad by any means, I just think it's it's um, a bit basic maybe, it's the word. Uh, we've seen this and heard this before in many many um, other settings and I don't think this is uh, actually, like I don't really think this makes the cut for a Eurovision final. But we'll see, maybe they can do something great with, st with staging, who knows. Hello, Tom Hendrick here. First of all, I want to say Happy New Year. I hope it's a happy and a very healthy year for you all. And here are my top three. My number three is Bulgaria, uh, an intention. They were sending me a tour. Uh, clearly they had the Maliskin kind of vibe coming onto this one. Uh, it's not quite there for me. It's um, a little bit dated. It feels like something that Eurovision will be sending maybe, dare I say, 10, 15 years ago. Um, it's just not quite for me, and I think it might struggle to get into the final. Let's, let's see, how am I going to rank these? Uh, number three for me is Lights Off. You're sailing around in my peripheral. I, I like the song. Um, I think that Benjamin, Dominic, and Dominica are all entirely too happy to be singing a melancholy song. The blue staging is pleasant. Um, but that song just, it doesn't do a whole lot for me. And I feel like unless, I feel like it's just gonna be rather a middle of the road song very likable, but middle of the road for Eurovision 2022. Hello guys, I'm Diego from Paris. Um, first of all, I would like to wish you a happy new year and a beautiful beginning of this 2022. And I'm going to give you my top three so far from Eurovision 2022. So in my number three, top three position, it's Bulgaria with uh, Intelligent Music Project and the song Intention. They were sending me a tour. I love how Bulgaria, year after year, it's bringing or giving us such good music and great artists. However, uh, Intention, it's not a song that I'm feeling connected so far. Um, I love the fact that the lead singer, Rani Romero, is, is Latin American, uh, he's from Chile, and uh, for me, because I'm Latino, um, it, it's such an honor to, to see a Latino singing in the contest. 
um, and I love his vocals. I, I, I love the, the proposal of the song, the, the idea, the message. Um, but, but it's something that I'm, I'm, I'm not getting uh, connected with. Uh, so yeah, uh, it, it's my number three so far. Hi everyone, this is Jonathan in the UK. So starting things off, my number three so far is Bulgaria. Now, despite everything that has been said since its release, I actually don't mind Intention. It is a decent enough rock song. I can jam along to it a bit, but decent is sort of the level it's stuck at. It is slightly dated. It's nothing new, and it unfortunately doesn't really excite me as, as much as the other two songs do at the moment. And particularly, the other two songs have at least sort of one line that gets stuck in my head uh, after I've listened to them, whereas I don't have that with Intention and the Intelligent Music Project, unfortunately. So at this stage, my number three is Bulgaria. Hey everyone! Oh my gosh! Happy, new, amazing, unique, total sledge, yes, 2022 year! I will start with my third position and that goes to Bulgaria Intelligent Music Project with the song Intention. They were sending me a this song is a good song, it's not a bad song at all. But it's just not, you know, good enough for Eurovision, I think, personally. Especially from Bulgaria, which is my country. Like, oh, I want to win, like, I want us to win and to welcome you in Sofia. Oh my gosh, gorgeous city, my favorite city. And, yeah, it just makes me a little bit sad, you know. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really build, you know, to something. The whole song is just, you know, like that, and one straight line. I think that part, you know, where um, the soul guitar version, I mean, the soul guitar part, I love that part. It's like my favorite one, you know, like, ah! you do you lose yourself to it. When you travel to somewhere, you know, to another city with your car and just you turn on the radio station, some kind of radio station, and this song comes on and you just like... No, no, no. This is that kind of song. It's it's not it's not Eurovision. You know, at Eurovision you have to slay, you have to, you know, build, you have to empower. Yeah. Because that song is a rock song, you know? Rock song have to, you know, it has to make you feel, you know, like you are going to slay, like you are going to burn everything. Their manager, you know, he was talking some stuff about, you know, the theme and the group and the song. And I feel like he was like, you know, okay, we have a lot of money. Let's promote the group outside, you know, outside, uh, you know Bulgaria, at Eurovision especially. We don't care about the results or something. I think that's the, you know, that's the mood. I, I'm getting the mood. I'm getting that thing. I wonder what kind of songs did they present to BNT, BNT uh, you know, except this one. Because if the others were worse, let's say worse, or not that good like this one. Girl, really? Part of the reason I'm so excited to do this video is because it's probably the only time that Bulgaria will be nabbing a bronze medal at Eurovision 2022. And it ain't gonna be silver or gold. Let's just park that to one side. Number three is Bulgaria. Intelligent Music Project. Now, the most intelligent thing you can do right now is to do what El Haidadani did or what Irilosko has done. That is, come up with a completely new song. Yes, you got us all buzzing. You were the first to be announced. It's great. I'm glad you raced to the post for Eurovision 2022. But, I mean, you're, yeah... That platter hasn't got the, the right cuts on it. I just feel like, 
I like elements of it, but I just don't think it's strong enough for Eurovision. And, you know, if there were only two entries out, you'd still be silver. I just feel like there needs to be more. There needs to be more. That I mean, like, you can do so much better. This is a stable of really great artists and great visionaries. And a part of me thinks, can, save, can staging save this? You still need a good song. You still need a good song. And wasn't, what's it called, intention? I'm not saying it's bad, but it's just not good enough. It's just not, it doesn't measure up. It's not strong enough. You need three minutes of impact. And you know, 40 seconds in, I'm actually done. I'm done. I'm done. All right, my number three, well, no, it wasn't hard. It was very easy. My number three is Bulgaria. They were sending me a tour. Listen, Intelligent Music Project have a very nice lead singer. Mr. Romero is absolutely slaying. He is a rock powerhouse. However, this song, this song is just not it. Intention starts off okay. The first verse is kind of catchy. You're like, okay, this is building. Then the chorus hits and it's just a complete letdown. It's like they removed all the bass, all the thump. It sounds very treble. It sounds like something's missing. It sounds like a demo. My advice is just to start over. You have several months to write a new song. It is okay. We can all forget this together and move on. As it stands, this is throwback rock that no one asked for and that no one needs. It is forgettable. To quote the song, it is in the safety zone. It just doesn't work. And the sad reality is, I think the artists here are actually very good. All of them can perform. There is charisma. We love, love, love the drummer Stoyan, Eurovision alum. This song is just not giving them the platform that they deserve. My number two is uh, Albania. That's uh, Ranela Hajati with Secret. And I'm actually very excited for this because Albania is finally bringing uh, Nels Dov up and we really, really wanted one of those. And Ranela actually brought the house down in Tirana Festival in Genghis, so I'm very, very excited for what she does in Turin. The song does need to be um, re... Uh, the song does need to be reworked on a little bit because it's actually longer than the three minute, three minutes rule but I think uh, they have great raw material to work with and I'm very excited for what Albania does. I mean, Albania always delivers when it comes to... to um, um, so Albania has great... Uh, Albania has great raw material to work with and I'm really uh, excited for what they do because their, their revamps have often been really, really... Um, they, they have often uplifted the song a lot, so I'm very excited for what they do with uh, Secret. And hopefully they'll keep it as a secret and they'll not turn it into a secret in English. Because I'm really thinking the Albanian language is going to give uh, them this extra that has given them for the past uh, years, ever since they um, ever since they made the final with Eugen in, with Eugen Pepa in 2020, in 2018, sorry. Um, so yeah, Albania is my number two. My number two is Domi and Lights Off. You're sailing around in my river bar. It's a great song. I really enjoy the, the dance pop element. Unfortunately, it feels like the same verse and chorus three times. I feel like it doesn't really go up or anywhere. But I still like the song. I still think it's great. It's got a good chance to get to the final. Um, but it's missing that something. Um, my second favorite of the three that have been named so far is um, Intention, Bulgaria. They were sending me a tour. So I like this song for so many reasons, along with the video. Um, again, it's very 80s. Um, this song talks about moving on. I can relate to this song in so, so, so many ways. I feel like I spent 20 years of my life at war um, with someone, and I get that. But I loved the way it opens up with this kid playing, you know, his, on his handset, his, 
this 80s video game and um, I love the video and what I liked most about the video, well she was stunningly beautiful, um, but I liked how she's walking away but not really, you see him behind her, he's there and it's as though she knows the time has come to end this but she's just not ready and then in the end you see her walking behind him she is letting him go so that she can move on and i i really like like that that's what's going on um she is strong-willed but she knows that it's time um she's finally going to be true to herself but that's my number two really like it i've got to tell you anybody coming into your vision 2022 with a rock song. Um, they're going to have a hard road after Monaskin in 2021. Um, really like this song. I just, I love that there's no vulgarity. It's clean. It's fun. It touches the heart. Um, and the whole band, um, just, that they orchestrate so well together the, um, the stage. And Ronnie has a really nice face. My number two it's We Are Dummy from Czech Republic with the song Lights Off. You're sailing around in a peripheral. Uh, this is also something that I really like every year uh, since, uh, I don't know exactly the date, but I believe uh, since 2019, Czech Republic is the one who's bringing the party on to Eurovision. And I love how the songs are happy and uh, make us dance all the time. Um, and this is something that I see as a regular from Czech Republic. So uh, this was my favorite actually from the national final. And it was my 12 points from the national final. Um, so I, I really, I really love this group. And I really hope to see them uh, doing great in uh, touring. On to my number two, and that is Albania. Now, overall, I do really like Secret. It is a great change of pace for Albania. We have been long overdue uh, sort of up-tempo ethno bop from Albania and Ronella delivers uh, a really great one. Um, obviously, it's not my number one and there are a few little minor things as to why. The main one being that in its current form, it does take a full minute before it properly gets going and sometimes I am just sort of left waiting like can it can it get to the the good part yet uh, uh, and even from a minute in there are still a few gaps in the song and, and generally in the production that I think could do with being filled out a bit more that being said the live performance at Festivali Ikengis is 10 times better than the studio cut uh, and that is down to Ranella. Uh, it's just so much more dynamic, her charisma just gives it so much more and obviously thankfully that is what we're going to see on the Eurovision stage but at this stage there, there are still a few things that I think could be tweaked and obviously I know there is a revamp coming uh, and as Tamara would say I am going to keep the faith uh, because I do think there is a lot of potential here that Secret can really give Albania a really great shot at, at climbing the Eurovision leaderboard, just if those things are just ironed out. But but yeah, definitely a solid number two at this point. Well, my second place go to Czech Republic! We are Domi Lights Off! You're sailing around in a peripheral no, don't go off, please. I need I need my light. I need my ring light as well, so don't go off. Please stay on. <laughs> so, yeah, oh my gosh. Where are you now? Where are you now? Where are you now? I love that song. Sorry, I had to sing that. I love, 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 love it. I love the girl, Dominica. You are a queen, baby. You are total slay at realness, honey. Like, she is ready to slay. 
at Eurovision. I mean, you know, the way she sings, it's so easy, like, it feels so easy to be able to sing. But it's not, girl, like, mm -mm, it's not easy to sing. So, yeah, she sings with confidence, which is very, very important. And I feel that, you know, when she sings, I feel that she's confident and she makes me confident. Which is really, really uh, important for me. And um, the song... I love electronic pop. I love electronic pop, dance, and um, wow. I mean, you know what? Uh, after they presented the songs, this one wasn't my, you know, most favorite, but it was, you know, the songs that I liked. But after I listened the, you know, the live version, the live studio version, Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's like, it's like, you know, a song at Eurovision that, you know, even though, you know, it doesn't matter if you like the song or don't like the song, you will always be like, where are you now, where are you now, like, you can't hate that song, you have no permission. You have no permission to hate that song, okay, you don't, you can like it, you cannot like it. No problem, but you can't hate that song, girl. It's just a beautiful song. And, um, you know, the group, they are, like, you know, enjoying the music. And um, they, they are not trying hard, you know, to slay. I feel like even though they don't try that hard, they literally slay. Easy slay. Oh, that's a word. Easy slaying, girl. Easy slaying, girl. Easy, easy slaying, girl. And I think that the song is very well pr produced, like... I don't know if they are going to revamp it, probably, but I'm totally, totally fine with the current version and I will love, and I love listening to it. In second place, where are you now? Where are you now? We are dummy. Now, I like this song, actually. It gives me good vibes and it gives me good feels. You're sailing around in my peripheral. I don't know if it will be revamped, um, but I still feel that there are moments of elevation, you know, potential moments of elevation. I think this could be improved, and it's a, yeah, it's a good contender. I mean, it's I'm I'm happy to have it in in the um, in the running of songs. My number two, and I should point out, this is a huge step up from number three. It is the Czech Republic. We are Domi. You're sailing around in my peripheral. This song, this song is no joke. This is radio friendly. This is perhaps the most Spotify friendly of the songs we have so far. You could hear people looping this in the United Kingdom, the United States, Australia, Hungary, Russia, Latvia, all over the place is my point. It's polished, it's well produced. The English is good. She enunciates. You understand her. She sounds like a native speaker. The lead singer is beautiful. She's got charisma. She can perform. They gave a live on tape performance for the national selection, and she absolutely delivered. There is a vibe. I also love how there's this sort of guitarist slash cellist. There was a comment on YouTube that said, when your calling is to be a cellist, but you're told to play the guitar. Very, very amusing. Um, but anyways, I think this has a lot of potential. They can make it very modern, very contemporary. My only concern is that because it's so radio friendly and Spotify friendly, it is in fact a little generic. We have heard this before. We, this kind of synth pop, I don't know, club, ambiance. We have heard this many times. However, they do it well. It's okay to perform in this space and in this genre. Perhaps with staging, they will take this in a new direction and present what is novel and new. Musically, honestly, I've heard this so many millions of times, but that's okay, because they're doing it very well. Solid effort, Czech Republic. I reserve the right to elevate this you know, when we get to Sereno, because I suspect they will want to do well. I have a feeling um, that the broadcaster really wants to push this, so fingers crossed. And that means my number one is the Czech Republic with uh, Domi and Lights Off. You're sailing around in my peripheral. That's uh, um, one of the songs I've, listened, I've been listening to the most for the whole season, including all the others from the national selections. It's a really, really modern and slick pop song, and I'm really, really excited for what they do. I'm, I also really like the, the, the kind of uh, cello guitar they had on the, on the live video. 
I don't know. It's just like it's it's a song that I'm really listening to, and I'm very hopeful for Czech Republic to see them back in the final. So yeah, that's all. That's my top three. So my number one is obviously Albania and Ronella and Secret. Um, it's like a Albania in a song. It's cool. It's got an element of mystery. It's so authentic. Um, I just absolutely love it, and I think it's going to absolutely smash, smash their semi-final, get into the final, and who knows? But I definitely think it's Albania's best song for years. So they're my top three. So that leaves Ronella. Um, and Albania. So of the three that have been selected so far, which is Secret is my favorite. We do all have secrets, and we do all have secret loves. Um, the lyrics scared me a little bit. No, you cannot make someone love you. Just because he's your secret love doesn't mean that you are his secret love. Although, I've been going back and watching old television shows, and right now I'm watching CSI, and for Sarah and Grissom, their secret love was shared until they eventually married, separated, and then reconnected in the end. But anyway... So we do all have secrets. We do all have secret loves. Um, sometimes it's reciprocated, sometimes it's not. But I would just say don't force it. But what I love most about the song was everything. Um, Ronella is beautiful. I love the contrast of her backup dancers with the dark hair against her blonde hair. First time I listened to the song without actually watching the video, the sound to me was very um, Effendi and Samantha Tina. And I love the way it goes from this almost quiet, more subtle, higher tone to the boom, boom, boom drama. Um, and that's the way life can be, right? Life has its ups and life has its downs. Um, but I really like the song and um, it's a song about love, secret love, and I loved the red galaxy behind her and the costumes. Um, Mahi, do you want to say hello? Come here, come here. And then of course there is this one. And this entire video, the lights have been off for him. Mahi is my sweet little buddy, always by my side. Love the boy. And my number one, it's of course uh, Ranela Hajati with Secrets from Albania. So uh, I've been saying this time after time uh, since we were in, in Tirana covering uh, Festival Kengas. Uh, this for me is it's something really clever. Uh, it's the first time Albania is sending a song like this, which is a bop. Um, it's something really interesting for me. It's 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 a messy song, but it's it's a good mess. Uh, it reminds me, and I've been saying this for so long. It reminds me of Russia twenty twenty one, uh, which we don't know we don't know how how exactly the, the construction of the song is we, we don't know where it's it's taking us at some point but it's it's actually involving us into the song it's clever we wish for more and um i i think it's it's really great it's it's amazing it's fantastic so uh this is my top one and i think a very strong competitor to get into the final. I know it's only th three songs out of 41, but um, yeah, it's it's my favorite, Albania. And if you've watched the whole video and haven't skipped right to the end, you will know by now that my number one is the Czech Republic. You're sailing around in a peripheral. We Are Dommy's performance of Lights Off was the first of the ESCZ ones that I watched. And as I was going through all the others, I kept telling myself, no, I prefer Lights Off. No, I prefer Lights Off. Yeah, I prefer Lights Off. Um, and to be honest, 
I am just a bit jealous because I would love for the UK to broaden its song selection to include things like Lights Off and just generally what they had in, in the ESCZ selection. Um, but that is for a, a different video. Um, I think one of the key things as to why the Czech Republic is my number one at this point is that out of all three songs, it is the one that keeps me engaged for the entire three minutes. You know, they entice me in briefly with the first verse and then that electronic production comes in and I am bopping along all the way uh, until the very final seconds. I, I really love this. It is modern. It is fresh for the contest. Um, obviously, we don't have all the songs uh, at this point, but I do really think uh, Lights Off and We Are Dommy stand a really great chance of bringing the Czech Republic back into the grand final of, of the contest. So, yeah, at this stage, my number one is the Czech Republic. Okay. Okay. Are you ready to find out my first position? Actually, it's very obvious. <laughs> It's Ronella Hayati's secret girl. This girl, like, wow. She has the best personality, like the best personality. She's so cool, she's so real. She's like one of my best friends. And I love my best friends, I love my friends. And I love Ronella Hayati. Love it so much. You know, when I watch the live, uh, you know, the live performance, obviously I love the song. I'm not going to talk a lot of stuff about me loving the song, but maybe I will. And um, yeah, she's so engaging, you know, she invites you, she invites you to slay with her, you know. Let's come, let's come together and slay, you know. <laughs> and um, yeah, I love the song a lot. It's like real really different like I am so happy that you know this kind of song finally won uh, Festival de Kangas because you know last time when I loved um, you know this kind of song at, at that um, contest it was uh, Elvana Jata's Mitana oh my gosh I was so so sad that she didn't win and then Mirut oh my gosh his song last year was wow Oh my gosh, the staging at the Festival of Kanga stage was brilliant. I mean, I love that she brought a lot of dancers. Of course, for Eurovision, you have to be, you know, six people max on the stage. So she has to, you know, reduce that um, those dancers. But I think she can make something like, you know, Polly Genova 2016 with the... If love was a crime, then we would be criminals. You know, with the digital dancers, that will be amazing. Oh my gosh, I love when she does that, you know, with her hair. I can, oh, I love that she adds English, you know, lyrics in English, uh, you know, words to the song. Because it makes the song, you know, unique. Of course, we love to hear Albanian uh, language at Eurovision, but I think it will be so 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 much better if if you know she decides it decides to um you know to add some english words to do you know to the final version of the song so i will i i'm so 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 happy it's like you know mm, hey i will never regret it will be a secret put a new kitty new kitty some do, 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 do. La 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 la. I need to learn the song. I need to learn the lyrics. Oh, I love so much Ronella. You are amazing. You are my number one. And I can't wait to meet you. Oh my gosh. I, I feel like we are going to have the best time when we are together. So, yeah. Thank you so much for this track. I love you. My numero uno is Can You Keep a Secret? Hi. Ronella Hayati from Albania. Secret! Oh my god, the whole time I was watching Festival of Kangas, like, part of me just thought, oh god, I really wanted to be in Tirana to just feel the power and to feel the magic 
and the live performance that that song delivers. I think this is, this is good. A part of me is worried though, because in Tirana, it was, it was so well done and so well cooked and there was so many, it was like an army on stage. How would that translate to Eurovision? So this is one of those entries that may have to scale back rather than add on to it. So it'll be interesting to see how that unfolds in the coming weeks. But by and large, this is the strongest entry um, so far in the pack. And my number one, it goes to Albania, Ronella Hayati with Secret. Listen, with my number two, Czech Republic, you could hear that song coming from anywhere. It was, you know, a song without borders, a song of no nation. Whereas this, this has Albanian flavor. You know that this broth was made in grandma's kitchen in Albania. This is so organic. It is authentic. It feels of a place. It feels of a time. Of course, it is timeless. It is at once ancient, but then very contemporary. So that time is 2022, because we're bridging the gap. Ronella Hayati can sing. We had the privilege of hearing her live repeatedly in Albania, and she never messed up. This song may not be the most obvious Spotify loop song. However, it is the most original. It stands out, and at Eurovision, you need to jump out of that running order. We know they will bring the drama. She had 20 dancers doing the helicopter hair twirl, Obviously, they've got to reduce that, you know, to six total people on stage. But the point is, she has a vision. She's going for the dramatica, and we respect her for it. I think it's good that this song will undergo a revamp. It is messy. We've said this. You know, she's acknowledged this, that the song needs some work, that it needs to be a bit more professional. But the fact is, all the ingredients are there. Amazing singer who can perform, who's got confidence. You know, she's got a vision for staging. Musically, it's 3.30. They'll make it three minutes. It'll be tighter and therefore more high impact. They're going to trim the, you know, what's the word? You know, they're going to cut the frizz on the hair. You know, it's going to be the, just the, the beautiful flowing locks. Get rid of all that frizz. Um, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. I think this could be a huge result for Albania if they get the revamp right. And I have a feeling that they will. Oh, and let me just say, I kind of like this song being majority Albanian. I think adding, you know, a line or two in English, great. But what gives this flavor is that Albanian character and aspect. And again, you're just going to stand out. Yonina Malici, Angela Peristeri, Ujint Bushpepa, they took Albanian to the final. And I think she can too. And she can do that with some English as well. It sounds good. You know, I will never regret. He will not be a secret. Love it. It works. But do we need, you know, I don't know, four verses in English? No. But anyways, she will make the right decision. She is a wise woman, and I wish her all the best. Well, that's what we think. What do you think? What are your top three of Eurovision 2022 so far? Is there room for your top three to change? Do you think any of these songs will still be in your top three when we hit Eurovision in May? Let us know in the comment section down below. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, guys. We love you so much. We make a lot of videos for you and we love to entertain you a lot. And um, we are literally everywhere on the social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. There's a Discord channel thing, whatever you call it, that you can get involved with. Pinterest, because you know what? The heart and soul of Wooey Blogs is on Pinterest. We are not on Pinterest. And make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when all our new videos are coming out. So yeah, thank you so much. Love you. Bye. I'll see you soon. So much love. Bye. Thank you so much guys for watching. Bye. Thank you so much and bye. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye. And we will see you later. Bye.